we are heading out to eat. Join us for a traditional Greek meal. What's the name of the restaurant? Paro Greek Hey! Here, my light is here. Holy cow, it's an RV. We're going in style. Hello. Uh, all right, let's go party. Here we are thinking we were going to get picked up in a cab. And then the lunar module shows up. Traveling in style. Thank you, buddy. It's tasty. It's good stuff? All right, man. This is it here? Yeah. This? It must be that right there. Okay. Ah, so, guys, here it is. It's called Acapulco Kiki. Sorry, I don't know that alphabet. But anyway, the meal of the evening is a special lamb that they make here. Hello. Okay, after 20 minutes of deliberation over what table to take, we're here. And it's very authentic. Closer to the street. And a uh, great view of the oncoming traffic. Red wine comes with the lamb. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Breaking out the good tablecloth. I love it. Didn't I see that paper bag at Publix? Hey, can I ask you a quick question? For my video, I'm sorry. What is the name of this lamb? It has a name. Adi Cristo. Adi Cristo. This is a very famous lamb, and they make the best one on all of Crete. So we're excited. So how does this work? Are we all getting the same thing to eat? It's like one big portion for everybody or is everybody ordering their own thing? We I don't know. We order the meat for everybody. I don't know if they are going to bring menu. I think they are going to bring menu. Vino a puto. Doppio crassi. Doppio crassi. What can you describe? Doppio crassi. Crassi in red. Red and white. Ah. It's red. Our uh, Greek is really coming back to She's ordering for everyone. Two, big, two glasses of red wine, two to Buddhist. Even I understood that one. Ah. Baby, I was trying to read the name of the restaurant, and of course I, I can't read it. So what does it say? What's the name of this restaurant? Right there, isn't that it? Oh, that says pharmacy? Reading at the pharmacy, ladies and gentlemen, and earlier today I could have used one. So. The name Historia Skoludis. Skoludis? Yeah. All right, what was that first part? Mysteria. Mysteria? Like it's Mystery. a mystery? Uh-oh. Mystery meat. Prehistoria Skoludis. Oh, prehistory. It's prehistoric meat. Oh. Red wine. It's like almost amber. It's That's the red wine. wine. I love it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's the name of the Oh. Wasn't that the name of our driver? So apparently, guys, the thing we're getting, you have to order it a day in advance. So we had to let them know yesterday that we were going to be coming here today to eat it. And, uh, anything that takes that kind of preparation, it's got to be the least interesting. Cheers. To our Greek vacation. Yamas. 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 <laughs> This is, this is the homemade stuff, guys. <laughs> Very interesting. It's kind of um, it's kind of vinegary, but in a good way. This wine is like three dollars a barrel. How's the white, baby? I actually like the red better. What is that, stamagati? That's a salad that you want? Yeah. No matter where we go, there's always a salad that she wants. This one's called stamagati. Stamnagati, 
Okay, guys, I asked them specifically if they would show me the process of the Andy Cristo being cooked, and uh, they were gracious enough to uh, allow me to do that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, incredible. Oh, my God. Do you have any lights here? It'd be good if we could turn some lights on so we could see it. Wow. This is incredible. Wow, so so that's it. it. What is it, like a lamb shank? Wow. Look at that, that is a thing of beauty. So it's, um, these are charcoals or is this um, like wood, wood uh, yeah, yeah. briquettes? Wow, and he's got that uh, hot poker there to move around the, the coals. Wow. How long, how long does it take to cook? Do you know how long? Yeah, about? A half, a past half. Ah, okay. Look at that. Yeah. It's beautiful, guys, and I can feel the heat from here. It's, uh, it's, it's intense, but it's, it's pretty steady, so. It smells great. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, my friends. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. This is the real deal here, guys. They, uh, they're doing it the old-fashioned way. No, I forgot to ask you. I want to ask you a question. Is this like the ancient Greeks used to eat this? This meal, does it go back a long way? Yeah, it's uh, go back a long years ago. Many years ago. Maybe hundreds of years, thousands of years? Hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. Okay, well... We shall keep the tradition alive. Thank you, my friend. Two stamnagat, stamnagat salad. She's taking control. I like this, ladies and gentlemen. She's got this. All right, we got some Greek bread here, ladies and gentlemen. Bread. Oh, yeah. Tiana Stasiu. Bread. Tiana. Maybe that looks like the mountain I was climbing on today. <laughs> okay. The sun is down. I switched the glasses and I switched the bread. Here we go. Authentic Crete garlic bread. It's got all the nooks and crannies. I'll tell you right now, guys, these french fries. This is not typical French fries, yeah? Yeah, it's all good. They kind of remind me of Nathan's French fries, which are the best ever in the world. These are a very close second. Look at the stack. Looks like oatmeal to me. Well, farina or maypo. For those of you old enough to remember, maypo. All right, let's dip the bread in the maypo. What exactly is it? Butter and cheese. Oh my god! This butter and cheese. Two of my favorite words. Saganaki, you have this, yeah? Yes, because Saganaki is a country. It does. It's great. Saganaki is like a. It's grilled, right? It's, how do they cook it? Do they grill it? Is it fried, grilled? Uh, cheese? It's cheese that's cooked. That's all I know. So, after uh, two layers of saganaki. Okay, saganaki. I think this one is the best. Oh my god. Yeah. It's crusty on the outside. When they cook it, the cheese just... It, it, it changes the flavor of the cheese a little bit. It makes it like a little tangier. It's like Popeye spinach. You can uh, spread a little bit of uh, squeeze a little bit of oil on the bread. I don't think this needs anything. Look at this guy. I was expecting like spinach. And it, it's close, but if you took escarole and you took spinach and they had a kid, it would be this, how do you say it? Uh, 
What she said. I don't remember. Saginaw. Oh yeah. Look at that. Thank you, my friend. Looks great. This ain't no pancookas. Come to Papa. So Anastasia recommended this place to us, right? Yes. Yeah. And um, kind of called ahead and got the lamb going for us and all that. And I got to tell you right now, the lamb is even here yet. But the appetizers that we're um, enjoying right now, everything is fresh. Everything is delicious. You can tell just by the colors of the food how good it is. This is a very delicious and memorable meal. Ladies and gentlemen, the star of the show has arrived. Here it is. Oh my goodness. That looks fantastic. How do we eat this? What's the best? We just we just take pieces off or any anything any instructions to how we eat it? Okay. No instructions necessary. Thank you, thank you. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Adi Christos. You gotta just get in there. Oh, what do we got here? Oh my goodness. So that's the grilled feta, guys. Throw everything on the grill. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, bring it on over. I'm just gonna pick this up with my fingers. Look how tender this is. But just by touching it, picking it up, picking it off, the, it just fell off that bone. Oh, that is the best meat you will eat. It's soft, it's tender. You know like pulled pork that you get at a really good barbecue? Take that, make it more tender, and give it about 10 times more the flavor. It is outstanding. Look at that, look at that bone. How's that, how is it, baby? That meat just comes right off that bone, doesn't it? The best ever lamb I have ever tried. I agree. It's so good. <laughs> it's got a, a lovely, soft saltiness about it. It's alive with all kinds of flavor. That might be the best meat I ever tasted. No joke. It's outstanding. I've always been a huge lamb fan. You know, lamb shank, lamb chops. Lamb kebabs. Uh, this far surpasses any lamb I've ever tasted in my life. Oh, the sausages have entered the chat. Jimmy Dean would be proud. Everybody gets a sausage. Did they eat it? Mm. I think what we're realizing here is that the food that we're eating comes from really good animals, really good products, vegetables, everything is fresh here. This is fresh, wholesome, unprocessed products that put together this wonderful meal. You're enjoying baby, yeah? You will never find something similar in America. You won't find this anywhere. Yeah. You want this, you gotta come here. You gotta come to Greece, you gotta come to Crete. You wish you had some. I want you guys to hear this. Those are potato chips. It's obviously a later crowd in here, guys. We've been done for a while, as you can see. And now this place is packed. It's almost 10 o'clock at night here. People eat late here, huh? Late here, it's like New York City. Things don't get started till 10 p.m. All right, and we're full. Coffee and dessert, anyone? That's a yes. We got dessert, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and we have some racky. See ya. Okay. 
Yes. Your favorite, baby. Oh my God, that looks like the mountain I climbed today. Holy crap. So guys, thank you for joining us. This festive, wonderful evening here on our vacation in Crete. We, uh, we had some wonderful wine and talk. And um, the food was just amazing. So we hope you enjoyed this meal as much as we did. Till next time, stay well, stay tuned, and stay hungry. Amen.